పెంచాం పోపర్ చెప్టర్ ఎయిట్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ ద సీల్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ ద సీల్ now we already know that thomas the royal prince is in the palace as the prince of wales prince of wales the question of the seal the seal means the great seal of frank the state uh symbol now it is missing no one can find it out because the true prince when he leaves the palace he hides it somewhere else and tom has no idea about this great seal he has never seen it now it is needed the great seal is needed for some official approval for some official letter about 5 o'clock henry the eighth a walk out of unrefreshing nap unrefreshing nap nap means uh, some kind of sleep unrefreshing it's a small little sleep of a few minutes uncomfortable and muttered to himself he spoke to himself because henry is uh, troubled by a dream bad dream what is the bad dream troublous dream troublous dream ah troublesome dream mine end is now at hand mine end my death now henry feels death is on the way for him so say these warnings these warnings uh, predictions and my failing pulses my weak heart here failing pulses means my weak heart beat do confirm it do approve it henry knows that his death is on the way he must be ready for it henry is not afraid of his death is a brave hearted man present here wicked light wicked light uh, flamed up in his eye his eyes are now bright with some wickedness evilness it means that henry has some evil thought evil idea what is the evil idea yet will not i die till he go before underline i will not die i will not die till he he means who's this he he means no for n o r f o l k no for the duke of no for now henry says and he affirms confirms that he is not going to die until no for dies now no for is a prisoner he is in prison henry wants to kill this no for his enemy before his own death before his own death this is king henry's wicked nature he has no pardon no forgiveness no mercy for his enemies enemies are enemies for henry they must be eliminated destroyed removed from his path now henry is going to kill this no for to protect his son's future especially the son is now mad 
according to Henry's belief. His attendants perceiving that he was awake, one of them asked his pleasure concerning the Lord Chancellor. Now the Lord Chancellor is outside Henry's room, the royal officer. He is waiting for permission to meet uh, Henry for some state matter, official duty. His pleasure, Henry's concern, pleasure means concern, concerning the Lord Chancellor who was waiting. Admit him, admit him. Uh, let him come. Henry gives the permission uh, for the Chancellor to get into the royal chamber. The Lord Chancellor entered, knelt by the king's couch, saying, now Chancellor is just before Henry, kneeling before Henry's couch. Couch means his bed. Now Chancellor has some special message. What is this message? I have given order. I have given order according to the king's command. The peers of the realm in their robes do stand at the bar of house. Now Chancellor says, According to your order, my lord, I have given instructions, command to the peers, the great noble people of the country, noble people of the country, do now stand now at the bar, bar means here, the court, court of the parliament, house means parliament. Now they are in the court of the parliament, Having confirmed, they have approved, confirmed means approved the Duke of Norfolk's doom. Doom means death. Now they have approved Norfolk's killing. Those days, the British Parliament has the right to pass a bill uh, about the people's punishment, especially uh, betrayal or treacheries. Now, Duke of Norfolk, uh, is going to be killed according to Parliament's decision. They humbly wait His Majesty's further pleasure. Now they, these uh, noble men, they are waiting. Your consent, your approval, further approval regarding this matter. The king's face lit up with fierce joy. Now you see fierce joy. Now, king's face is full of joy, but fearful joy, not happy joy, fearful. This is his evilness. Henry says, lift me up. In my, nose, in my known person will I go before my parliament. With my known hand will I seal the warrant. Warrant means that letter, permission. Now, Henry says, Henry is very happy. Very happy to hear this news. He has been waiting for this news. What is this news? Killing Norfolk. Now everything is ready for Norfolk's death, Norfolk's beheading. And now it is King Henry's approval needed for this killing. Warrant approval. Ah, King Henry. Happily says, of course, I will personally go to my parliament and I will give my consent. I will give my approval. Ah. His voice failed. An ashen pallor, ashen look, ashen color swept the flush from his cheeks. His cheeks became, now become turned into white because he is also a very weak man. Death is uh, lurking around him. At any moment, death will come to him. And the attendants eased him back up on his pillows and hurriedly assisted him with some restoratives. Assistance. His servants gave him some restoratives, some kind of painkiller. So medicine to uh, regain his power, refresh his uh, body. He sorrowfully said, Alack, oh my God, how have I longed for this sweet hour? I have been waiting for this sweet hour, this best moment. Sweet hour. Now, actually, what is this sweet hour? Sweet hour means 
healing now for. Now for Henry, healing a man is sweet. He loves it. Healing his enemy. He says, I have been waiting for this best moment for a long time or too late. It comes, it comes to me late. No matter. Now it has come. I am robbed off. I could have robbed off this so coveted, so desired, much expected chance. I could have missed it. But however, it comes to me now. I am very happy, very happy for this sweet hour. Speedy, speedy. Now he announces, he commands this chancellor. Hey, chancellor, quick, quick, be quick. Let others do this happy, hurry up. Mm. Speed up means hurry up. Let others do it. Make other officers do this happy office. Now another. Happy office. What is the contextual meaning of happy office? Like sweet hour, this is also healing no fall. Before, since it is denied to me, before I lose it, this moment is very precious. Please hurry up. Take every action to kill this man. You must kill this man before my death. You must kill this man before my death. King orders Chancellor. I put the great seal in commissioner. Great seal. I put my great seal in commission, giving approval. Now that is why great seal is needed. But seal is nowhere to be found. Choose thou the lords that shall compose it. Select the people, lords, officers who can write it. Compose means write it and get you to your work. Go to your work. Speedy man, hurry up man. Underline before the sun shall rise and set again. Bring me his head that I may see it. Underline these words. Now, King Henry. You can see Henry's evil nature. Henry commands Chancellor, bring me, bring me Norfolk's head, cut off head, severed head, before another day. Don't waste another day before the sun shall rise again. Bring me his head. I want to see it. How wicked he is. Now Chancellor is frightened. Chancellor is frightened. He says, according to the king's command, yes, my lord, we'll do it according to your wish. So shall it be. Will please your majesty order that the seal be now restored to me. Given, restored means handed over. Please, my lord, I want the great seal. Please hand it over to me. I want the seal to approve you a warrant, death warrant on this Norfolk, so that I may forth upon the business I can carry on, forth upon means carry on this duty, business means here duty, royal duty. Now, king does not remember what he has done with this great seal. The seal, who keepeth the seal but you? Hey man, I don't have the great seal. You are the man who keeps it for me. Please, Your Majesty, my Lord, you did it take from me. Did it? You did take it. You took it. Did take me. You took it from me two days ago. Since saying it should, it should do no. It should no more do its office till you own royal hand should use it upon the Duke of Norfolk's warrant. You took it until you put it on. No folks, death warrant, you took it from me. I do not have it with me now. Now, king is answerless. Why? So in sooth, yes, I did. Now he remembers. Yes, I took it from you, but uh, I do remember. What did I with it? I, I can't remember what did I with this seal. I am very feeble, you know. I am very weak these days. So often... Oft, means often these days, my memory play the traitor with me. My memory, my memory goes against me. He's a traitor. He does not help me, my memory. 
I know I have, you know, my memory has gone, lost. It is strange, strange, wonderful. I can't remember what did I do with this great seal. The king dropped into inarticulate mumblings. Inarticulate mumblings means something, uh, some speech or words that you cannot understand. Inarticulate mumblings, muttering, shaking his gray head weakly from time to time, gropingly, desperately trying to recollect, get back what he had done with the great seal. At last, my Lord Hartford ventured to kneel. Hartford came down, took the risk to kneel before the king and offer information. Hartford gave some information about the great seal. Uh, sire, he says, Hartford says, Sire, if that I may be so bold, if I am bold, correct, here, here are several, there are several people, here be several, there are several people who remember, that remember, who remember with me how that you gave the great seal, how you gave, gave the great seal into the hands of Highness, the Prince of Wales. We all remember, my Lord, you gave the great seal to the Prince of Wales, your son, to keep against this day, until this day. I remember, and all other people remember. Oh, true, most true. Now even the king remembers. Yes, yes, of course I remember. Actually, uh, I gave it to my son. Fetch it, fetch it, bring it, bring it. Go, time flight, time passes quickly. Bring it, bring it. Now Hartford runs to Tom. Actually, there is not the real Prince of Wales. There is the fake Prince of Wales. Tom. Tom has no idea about this great seal. Hartford flew to Tom but returned to Kim before very long. Huh? Without waiting any time, Hartford returns because Tom says he has no knowledge about the great seal. Then Hartford reports this matter. It grieved me very sorry. It gives me sorrow, my lord, the king, to bear so heavy, to bear, to shoulder, to have heavy and unwelcome tidings, these unpleasant problems, unpleasant problems. I am very sorry for the king to have these unpleasant situation problems. It is the will of God. That is God's will. The prince's affliction, the prince's sickness, affliction means sickness or madness, abideth still. He is still with him. Therefore, he cannot remember anything, my lord. And he cannot recall to mind. He cannot remember that he received the seal. He got the seal. That even he cannot remember. Even he got the seal from you. He does not know anything about the great seal. So came I quickly. I quickly came to report. Thinking. It was a waste of precious time. It is wasting precious time. And little worth withal. Besides it has no uh, worth or value. Mm -hmm. Useless. That any should attempt, if anyone tries to search the long array of chambers, uh, long series array of collection of chambers, chambers means drawers and cupboards and all those things. Uh, if we check them and salons, rooms that belong to his royal highness, royal princess, we can find it, my lord. Hartford suggests a solution, but Henry stops it. Henry says, trouble him no more. Hmm? Don't trouble my poor child. Hmm? Don't trouble him. The hand of God lies heavy upon him. God's hand is heavy upon him. Hmm? It's very tough. Hmm? God's punishment. Now they think God has punished Tom. And because of that punishment, he is mad. And my heart goes out loving compassion for him. My heart is full of compassion. Sympathy for my boy and sorrow. I am worried because I may not bear his burden, because I cannot bear his support, his burden. Uh, because on my all trouble weighted shoulders, even my shoulders are full of troubles. Therefore, I cannot help my son's trouble. I am very sorry about it. I am worried about it. Therefore, don't trouble him. 
so bring him peace and to help him uh, uh, <clears throat> cure his, uh, recover his uh, madness. I am very sorry about this. Please, therefore, don't trouble him. He closed his eyes, fell into mumbling, and presently was silent. After a time, he opened his eyes again and gazed, looked vacantly, emptily around until his glance, glance means look, rested upon kneeling Lord Chancellor. Now Lord Chancellor is still there. King gets up after a short nap again, and Chancellor is kneeling down before his couch, expecting the royal seal. He wants he does want the royal seal to approve Norfolk's death warrant. Instantly, his face flushed with wrath. Wrath means anger. Wrath. Now, King's face is full of anger when he happens to see Chancellor still kneeling by the couch because it is waste of time. The trembling, what thou hear yet? Now, Chancellor is trembling now by glory of God, and thou gettest not about the traitor's business if you do not do anything about this traitor's business. Traitor's business means killing Norfolk. If you do not hurry up in killing this man, thy might shall have holiday the morrow. Might, might means his crown. Chancellor's headdress. Chancellor's headdress will have holiday morrow. Morrow means tomorrow. What is the idea? Implied idea is death. Your headdress will not have a head tomorrow. For lack of head to grace with all to decorate. I will cut your head off too if you do not hurry up in killing this man. The trembling chancellor answered. Now ask. Chancellor is frightened to death. He said, oh good your majesty, I cry your mercy. Please show me your mercy. I waited for the seal. I waited for the great seal. I want it. I want the great seal, my lord. Then king, angry king, again says, Man, has lost thy wits. Are you mad, man? The small seal which aforetime I was wont to take with me abroad lies in my treasury. Amen. Use the small seal that I used to take when I visit foreign countries, when I go abroad, it is in my treasury. Take that. Take that small seal and approve this letter soon. And since the great seal has flown away, since the great seal, big seal is missing, you can use the small seal. Shall it not suffice? Is it not enough? Angry king says, has lost thy which are you mad? Be gone, run away, be gone. He chases away, Chancellor. Haki, hey, listen, underline, come no more till thou do bring his head. Now, King again confirms, again orders, don't come here again without the head of that man. I want to see that head. This is Henry's evil nature. The poor Chancellor was not long in removing himself from this dangerous vicinity. Chancellor quickly removed, goes away from this dangerous vicinity, dangerous environment. Vicinity means this environment is very dangerous. Death is everywhere. Therefore, he runs away. Nor did the commission, the commission waste that commission of noble lords waste time giving the royal assent, assent means consent or agreement or approval, royal approval to the work of the slavish parliament and appointing the morrow. Tomorrow is appointed for the beheading, cutting off, beheading means cutting off the head of premier peer of England, great lord of England, the luckless, unlucky Duke of Norfolk. Finally, the parliament decides to kill Norfolk the next day according to King's command. Now, in this chapter, the main title is The Great Seal, but actually this chapter mainly presents the evil character, evil nature, wicked nature of King Henry. King Henry's true nature is well exposed in this chapter. We know 
how wicked he is, how violent he is, how merciless he is, how revengeful, how hateful King Henry is. This is Henry's original character, original character.